We bought the house about two years ago. We wanted somewhere that was quiet, tranquil. <laughs> Brian's health has been pretty bad, constantly taking antihistamines. With the birth of Sebastian, when he started having skin problems and breathing problems. The thought of putting your kids at risk of anything is, is always scary. When we've moved away on a holiday, everything clears up. Hi there, I'm Peter Dingle. Oh, hello, Peter. In here, we've okay. got mould on the doors of the cupboards. So you can see all this here, this is all mould, yeah. And that dust you've got in here is also mould. And then you've got all this on the mirror. This we clean every week. That's amazing. I'm taking the tape samples of the mould on the mirror and getting it to the mould expert who will tell us what's in them. But it smells musty. It's 19.4. It means it's really wet. Awesome. Yeah, it's really bad. What's happening inside the house? A high amount of, of fungi. It's not just a few here and there, yeah. it's virtually every surface is covered. One of the fungi that is known to be most toxic and can be as bad as nerve gas. So, you know, for the last two years, you guys have been poisoning yourself. You've got to get out of the house today. It's that <laughs> okay. serious. You've got to move. So all your clothes, all your toys, everything is now contaminated. All this mould is linked with your health conditions. The fatigue you've gone through, the behavioural issues with the kids, even the behavioural issues you have, the ups and downs you have, the fatigue, all of that. I had no idea that the mould would need this kind of work to get better. This is much bigger than I ever imagined.